Welcome to another video. In this video, I'm gonna go over a brand new configuration tool for Windows IoT Enterprise LTSC 2021, the most current LTSC version of Windows IoT Enterprise. Microsoft has been working on this tool for almost actually over a year now. It is not quite in production, but it is now in public preview so that OEMs can start downloading it and doing their own testing. And this video is going to be a very quick video just to kind of give you get you caught up to speed and allow it and give you all the information to download it, start playing with it, start providing some feedback to Microsoft. So let's get started with that. Um, let's let's start with the public announcement about the tool, which is here on this website. I'll put the link in the description. And in this public preview blog, they basically go over what the tool is and how to get your hands on it. Um, so I suggest you go read that blog. I also have written my own blog, um, which will be published on the Arrow website, and I will put a link in the description as well. The difference between the two blogs is my blog will go a little further into how to get started. And uh, basically, I created a uh, quick start guide for getting the tool installed because there's some little trickery things you have to do. Um, and a lot of this information is in the README file, which is included with the tool. But I've gone through the steps. And, you know, as far as this public re release number two, these steps seem to still work. Now, again, as they move it into production, the steps might change a little bit. and I might have to update the video, but this will get you started. Um, if I go back to the blog, when you scroll down through the blog, down here at the bottom, they're going to... Um, have a link right here, start downloading the latest release. So that's where you're gonna to wanna to begin. Um, and again, I'll probably try to put these links all down in the video description so that you can just, you'll have them all there. But you're gonna download that tool. And then let's look at my quick start guide. So to start with, you're gonna to wanna to set up a test system, basically call it your technician PC. And that technician PC needs to have Windows 10 Pro or Windows 10 Enterprise or IoT Enterprise, um, but it's gotta be at least build 20H2 or newer. Um, and I believe I've tested this on Windows 11 um, and it worked okay, but right now um, I think they're only supporting it on a Windows 10 platform. So I would start with Windows 10. Then within that, and you can do this in a VM too. You can totally create a technician PC with a, a VM. Um, but what you have to do is you have to enable Hyper-V. So I've told you uh, basically the steps on how to enable Hyper-V. Then it needs the Windows ADK um, and you need to download the version 2004, build 2004 or you know newer. So you need that ADK. ADK 2004 supports the newer version of Windows 10, higher than that build version. From there, you need the Windows PE add-on that is in the same site. Again, I have links here. I'll put them in the description. Then you need to download the full OPK Media Kit for Windows 10 IoT Enterprise LTSC 2021. And you get that from the Software Order Center. Um, and I have other videos on the channel on how to go download the Operating System Media Kit, which is your OPK or your OEM pre-installation kit. Um, you also need the language pack and features on demand. It's good to go ahead and have them, put them in the tool. You don't know if you'll use them or not, but get them, put them in the tool because the tool is going to do a little pre-check when you launch it, which is really, really nice. It will go through and it will tell you that you have everything in the right place and everything is good to go. Um, and that's something we requested that they put in this tool. Um, you know, make sure that you tell us what we need and then do a pre-check. So little check marks when you run it. You also need the security compliance toolkit. And the reason for that is this wizard toolkit, um, this new uh, edge device image builder toolkit for Windows 10 allows you to do quite a few different security configurations. And it has some security templates and it's gonna use this compliance toolkit to kind of pull those templates in. Very handy if you need to lock down your system to a specific level. Then you need to run the MS installer for the Edge Device Image Builder. And that's the very first thing that you downloaded from that public preview site. Um, then you need to download what they call a packer tool. 
And you have to then put that packer.exe in a specific folder called the backend folder. Step number 10 is you need to rename the ISO files so that they are opk.iso, features on demand, fod.iso, language pack.iso, and you need to put them all in the dependency folder. So you'll see these little folders here, a backend folder, a dependency folder. You will put those all in there. You put the packer tool in the backend folder. And then from there, you double click the icon and run the, the tool. And you're going to get something that looks um, like, let me get back over there to the blog, because I think she, there's a picture of it. It looks like this. So it's you'll start your projects, then you do your customization, then you build your images, then you can deploy those images. Super nice tool that they've spent a ton of work on. It will help you create custom images using a wizard driven tool. Um, again, look at all the links in the description, read my blog, read Microsoft's blog and start testing out this tool. Again, public preview, not ready for production just yet, but almost. So go start playing with this tool and then you can provide additional feedback to Microsoft if you like, or here to Arrow and I'll pass that along to Microsoft. So again, thank you guys for watching. Hit the like button, hit the subscribe button. We'll see you guys in the next video.